Sometimes 11, sometimes 10 That's about enough for the railroad men Thanks for the mood lighting <laughs> Look like an old hen Cluck and sing Ain't laid an egg since way last spring Cluck old hen Cluck and squall Ain't laid an egg since way last fall Seven out of ten people here know this song. It's just two little phrases in this thing. One that goes up high. And then it comes down low. Then the second phrase. The mistake is thinking, that's all there is to it. things that you know in life that take you 10 minutes to learn in a lifetime to get right. Yeah. I've had, uh, I've taught at different music camps. Sometimes they're devoted to jazz guitar. There was one like that one year that some of these jazz guitar players had banjos and fiddles in the trunk of their car and we broke them out one night and started playing some old-timey music and you know you play the same tune maybe 10 15 20 minutes and there'd be people there students of the jazz guitar looking at us saying what in the hell are you doing I came here to learn all these fancy chords from it. You're playing the same five notes. Well, you see, the thing is, you wouldn't walk up to a fella sitting on a sofa, on a little pad with his fingers like this saying, Om. Om. and say, hey, pick it up to the key of A, will you? not the point. Yeah, you play the same tune over and over again, but it's never the same twice, not if you can help it.
was doing a show one time, a uh, normal concert for me. I had my guitar and I sang a bunch of songs, some funny songs, some sad songs. I had my fiddle, played a tune. I had my banjo and played a couple of banjo tunes. Comes the end of the night, I'm packing up my stuff and the crew's packing up the sound gear. And there was an old gentleman there with white hair and a three-piece suit. Kind of stuck out in the folk crowd. Distinguished guy, and, and uh, he was kind of hanging around after everyone else had left. And I could tell he had something on his mind, so I asked him uh, how he was doing and how he liked the show, and he complimented me. He had a low voice, real low voice down here. Very impeccably dressed. He reminded me of that old time movie actor, John Huston, you know, long jaw. And he finally told me what was on his mind. And he said, he said, I see why the banjo never caught on. <laughs> It's just the same thing over and over, isn't it? I looked up at this tall gentleman, I looked up at him and I said, yeah.